Hey, before we start, I just want to say the game page for this game is now up. It's going to be on my game drill page, I'll link it down below. Last time all I really did for cameras was get some basic images set up. However, now we're going to actually get some work on the main mechanics. I guess main mechanic. Okay, whatever. We're starting off by just getting the rest of the camera sprites we need. I decided to add just a little bit of variation just to make the gameplay a tiny bit more exciting, since it's already still incredibly simple. So I decided to get a whole new menu going. So the thing is, to get players to realize that they needed to go to a different camera for that, I had to make it obvious that for Freddy and Foxy, they couldn't just restart their testing. I'm now making the animatronics jump scares. There's five characters total, but one of them only has one frame needed for their jump scare. We have done that means I have to make 21 images for the jump scares. And since I have to make the jump scares frame by frame, this is a nightmare. Nonetheless, I have still pushed through. I am now making the visuals for a help menu. The reason I'm making a help menu is because first of all, the menu needs more stuff to it, and second of all, I'm not adding a phone call or anything, so if I want the players to know how to play the game, they're going to need something like a help menu. So that's what I'm doing here, I'm making all the visuals I need for it. has a bit of a different mechanic. He does not use the cameras like the other characters. Although that was what I was originally planning, I actually decided against it after I uploaded the first devlog. So yeah, he'll be working a bit differently. You'll probably find out how it works if you slow down the video a bit. Or if you just play the game when it comes out. That too.
actually spent most of this dev vlog just recording the coding process. Just cause like, there was a lot that I wanted to do this time in terms of coding. Last time it was more focused on art, this time it's more focused on coding. So yeah, I decided to just do some more coding and try and get the main mechanic, at least for Freddy, sorted. There's a few more visual aspects that I still have to make for the game, but I decided to just actually leave that for the full release since I kind of just need to get some other stuff done first before I actually put it in. I should probably add that this video should not be seen as a tutorial for a FNAF engine. I remember on my old channel, I, I had a live stream that was super popular because people were using it as a tutorial. Like, people were asking me questions about how FNAF engine worked. It was very annoying to say the least. So again, this, none of my FNAF engine videos are tutorials. I don't make tutorials anymore. I haven't made a tutorial in maybe a year or so. Again, don't ask me for tutorials. If you wonder why I had to add in some extra sprites, it's because for some reason, their one just would not work for multiple cameras. It doesn't make any sense, but whatever, it's fine. I, it wasn't much of a problem anyway. Currently we're adding in the help menu. You're gonna have to read this if you want to actually have a chance at beating the game.
So now we're working on the AI. This is going to be very time consuming, which is part of the reason why I don't think I'm going to do a third devlog, unless it's for an update or something. Because the process of coding the main four animatronics is pretty much the same and kind of tedious, so yeah, it's kind of the only time you're going to see it. Anyway, the idea I have is that the animatronics will get more active as the night goes on instead of as the week goes on. Now I'm doing a lot of useless code. I'm calling it useless because this code's basically not going to work properly because I forgot a crucial code block. Because of that, I am going to have to redo pretty much all this code you're seeing. That's fun. So for Fredbear, he actually requires you to look around in the office. Because every other character so far uses the cameras. The only reason you'd have to not look at the cameras was to conserve power. So, I decided to add in an office character to make you spend additional time in the office. And that ended up being Fredbear's mechanic. It's much more simple than the others, which is why I decided to do it here. <laughs> 